Are you lying? Nikki, what did you just do? I didn't get any in the car. Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and today's video I am doing a what I eat in a day. So I figured it would be a good day to show because yesterday we had our niece and nephew's birthday party. We enjoyed ourselves. We definitely indulged in some cupcakes, cake pops, mac and cheese, and Italian beef sandwiches. But then afterwards we also got some Pizza Hut and got some cheesy breadsticks and a pan pizza that we shared and stuff like that. So we did go way over our points yesterday, but it's so important to just get back on track the next day. I also had a few drinks yesterday and I am not feeling great because of it. My stomach doesn't feel good. I feel really bloated and I just always feel this way after I eat that way. But to me, it's worth it to just kind of enjoy myself and have some balance. And like I said, when I get right back on track, I feel better. So today is my day of getting back on track, getting reorganized with a bunch of work stuff because pre-orders are coming up and I just want to be prepared. But let's go ahead and get started. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's start. So I am about to head to the gym right now, actually. Adam's up with me, he's here. And we both have the same workout today, which never happens. We're both working our back. I'm gonna do back and buys mostly, maybe a few try exercises, but he's also doing the same thing. So we're both going to the gym. We'll probably walk on an incline after that for a little bit because usually that helps us as well. But I've also really been focusing on my pull-up. If you guys don't know, one of my goals for 2023 is to be able to do one full unassisted pull-up. So there is a chin-up where you put your hands like this. It is a little bit easier for me personally, at least, and I think most people, it works more of your biceps. But a chin up is when you have your hand placement like this and it uses much more of your back strength. So I've really been trying to focus on just strengthening my back in general. It's always been a weak part of me and something that I'm self-conscious about. And that has been my goal for the past few months and now this new year. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of the steps I've been doing to just practice and train pull-ups. And that's pretty much what my focus is gonna be when I first get there and then just a few other back exercises. But anyway, I'm gonna head to the gym. I do not feel great because of how we ate yesterday. Like I said, I'm not hungry at all at this moment. Usually I'd have like a fiber one bar or something and pre-workout, but I don't even really wanna have pre-workout today just because I kinda wanna just get some fresh air, drink some water and get some movement in. And then I'll probably have coffee when I get home and eat breakfast. But anyway, we're gonna go to the gym and we'll be back. Okay, so I just made myself my protein shake. I'm gonna track this as two points. It is one point for the cup of cashew milk. This is just the Silk Unsweet Cashew Milk. It is 25 calories for the cup. And this is just my favorite to use for protein shakes. Then I just used one scoop of this Bloom Banana Cream Protein. This is one of my favorite flavors other than the blueberry cheesecake, I'd say. I've also been using the vanilla a lot and I really like that. But for one scoop, it is 22 grams of protein. It's 100 calories and one point on WW. Then I put some ice cubes and one banana, which I don't track. And so two points for my protein shake. So I'm just gonna drink that really quick while I make our breakfast. But really quick, I was gonna run through what I got from Mariano's because it ended up being like a mini haul and I wasn't expecting to get this much. So I got the cashew milk. That was like the main reason we went there. And then the other main reason that we went there was for tortillas. So I got some La Banderita carb counter tortillas. These are one point for one, 45 calories, five grams of protein. And then I also got some extreme wellness wraps. So we're completely out and we needed a lot. So I got the extreme wellness. These are 50 calories for one or one point. And then the large extreme wellness, which is 80 calories for one and two points. So I'm gonna use these for breakfast. Then for lunch, we decided we really wanted chicken salad. So I just got some regular chicken breast. I'm just gonna cook this up on the stove and then shred it with my KitchenAid and turn it into chicken salad. Then I'm also going to use some red pepper. So that's why I grabbed these. 
Then Adam spotted this. They had the bag for five bucks, so I got this as well because I do have to make a veggie mix. We just finished it off yesterday. I got some red onion for the chicken salad as well. Then I got some eggs because we need those for the breakfast wrap we're about to make. Every time we go to Mariano's, we grab the Kodiak Thin and Crispy Chocolate Chip Cookies. These are our favorite. For two cookies, it is seven points, 140 calories, seven grams of fat. It's got 11 grams of sugar and five grams of protein. And we just love these. They're so buttery. They taste like fresh baked cookies and they're just one of our favorite desserts to have. So had to grab a box of those because they're pretty hard to find, but they're always at Mariano's. Then with our chicken salad, I decided I want mine on a ciabatta. So I found these Panera ciabatta rolls one of them is 240 calories it's got nine grams of protein and it's five points on ww which i thought wasn't bad so i'm gonna have one of those then i got some honey crisp apples because i'm completely out and i just have one of those every day and then green grapes which we're gonna have with lunch actually this would even be good in the chicken salad but i just love to have grapes with chicken salad in general zero points for us and then we also got some bananas but i already put them over there we got two big things of bananas because we always need those for protein shakes we actually just used them up for the protein shakes we made and then the last thing I got these Bibigo mini wontons I have not seen these in so long we usually like the cilantro ones from Trader Joe's but I honestly think I do prefer these chicken and vegetable dumplings they are pretty much similar we toss them in the air fryer for the serving of 13 pieces it's 230 calories 5 grams of fat it's got 31 carbs 3 grams of fiber and 13 grams of protein and it is six points for that serving so sometimes I'll do like a half serving if I just want to add it as an ingredient to a bowl but I really like to have these and like I said they're really good air fried Anyway, that's our mini Mariano's haul that we got. I'm gonna go ahead and drink this right now while I make my breakfast, so I'll show you guys what I'm making. Okay, so my breakfast is done. I just went ahead and air fried the wrap after I finished it. So this came out to five points for the entire wrap. It is two points for the extreme wellness tortilla that I used. It is two points for two slices of center cut bacon and then one point for the light mozzarella that I used. And then I'm also just gonna dip it in some of this new Ithaca fire roasted mild salsa. So it's really good. It's kind of garlicky and that's why I like it. I'm gonna use that as my dipping sauce for my burrito, but this is zero points. So five points for breakfast my protein shake was two i'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then we also just drink our greens i forgot to put it on here but we filmed for my instagram story so we drink our greens zero points for us we don't track those and now i'm gonna go work on editing my video that i'll be posting later today so i'm gonna go eat this while i do that Okay, so I've just been editing, but I am getting tired and I need some coffee or caffeine. So I'm making myself an iced protein coffee. What I did was I made myself a Nespresso pod. So that's what I have in here. Then to the espresso shot, I'm gonna go ahead and add a scoop of Bloom Vanilla Collagen. This is zero points on WW, but it does have 50 calories and 10 grams of protein. So I do like to add that into my coffee, especially sometimes I'll add it to like protein shakes or smoothies, but I definitely prefer to add it to my coffee. I find that it mixes in really really well with the hot espresso so that's what I'm doing right now I just added the scoop to this and then I'm using my handheld mixer to fully blend it collagen isn't something that I consistently take daily but I try to take it every day especially if I drink coffee I always add it in it does help with the health of my hair my skin I think that it has made a big difference on my weight loss journey losing weight and with my loose skin because I have been pretty consistent with it but anyway that is zero points so I added a scoop to my coffee now in my tall mason jar I'm just gonna add a Quest salted caramel protein shake. So this is three points on WW. It's 170 calories. It's got three and a half grams of fat and 30 grams of protein. So I just add that in and then I'm gonna add like five or six ice cubes to it. Okay, so got my ice. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. And then I have my espresso with the collagen. So I just add that in and then mix it up. So this coffee comes out to three points total on WW. I just have to track the Quest Salted Caramel and that is it. So I'm gonna go drink this while I keep working on my video and then we're gonna be making lunch soon which we're gonna have some chicken salad. So I'm excited for that, but I'm gonna go work on that.
Okay, so I just made us some lunch. We're about to watch my finished video that I just edited. So we like to just watch it through one final time before I post it. And this one's a long one. It's a 36 minute video. So we're gonna eat lunch while we watch it. I made us chicken salad sandwiches, one of Adam's favorite meals. So I used the ciabatta buns that I bought from Mariano's this morning. It's five points for one. I just threw it in the air fryer to kind of toast it up a little bit. Then I took some chicken salad, which that entire batch that I showed is four points. So a quarter of it would be a point. I still just track one point of light mayo, but I. I didn't use a quarter serving out of the bowl. Uh, so we have a good amount of leftovers too. But I added some romaine lettuce. I have a bag of pitos for one point and then some green grapes for zero points. So my lunch comes out to seven points total on WW and I'm gonna go ahead and eat this right now. I just finished up my coffee and now I'm just back to drinking a lot of water. Okay, so I've just been getting my video uploaded and ready to post today, but really quickly, I'm gonna decorate a cake because I did desserts for our niece and nephew's birthday the other day and made way too much buttercream on accident, like way too much. So I have a lot of buttercream and I don't want it to go to waste. So I'm gonna use it to decorate a cake because we accidentally made too much cake mix and I was just gonna roll it into cake pops. So I have a whole sheet cake baked in there. I'm just gonna decorate it for fun and have Adam bring it to work because I figured they would like a treat there. They like buttercream and like I said, I don't want it to go to waste. So I'm gonna be doing that really quick. I'm just gonna film me decorating it. Um, I don't really have a design in mind, but I just kind of want to cover it in like little flowers and stuff like that. So I'm gonna film myself doing it. I get kind of nervous when I do that, but I think that it's fun to watch and yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and probably figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. to bring my cake pan to work so I just had this disposable one so this cake barely fits it's a little bit too big because like I said I baked it in a different pan but I was able to get it in and get just like a quick crumb coat on top and now I have all these colors here I'm gonna go ahead and use these colors to just do a bunch of different patterns and flowers and stuff on here and pretty much cover it is what my goal is I'm hoping this is enough buttercream I might cut it really close with this but this is what I had left so I only had buttercream in this color, so I had to make these colors out of it. So I kind of went with this palette. It looks almost a little like mermaid-ish, but I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can do with it. Okay, so I finished up making the cake for Adam to take to work. I had the perfect amount of buttercream. I honestly would have covered it a little more, but I completely ran out. I used every color, so turned out good. I'm happy with it, and I think that they'll be happy with it too. I'm making us some dinner right now. So we decided we want some seafood pasta. We have some prepped salmon, so this is just roasted salmon we're gonna be shredding up. I'm also gonna be using some imitation crab. So two points for this. The salmon will be zero. Then I'm making us some bonza pasta. So these are the shells. This is all we have. So this is going to work, but we're going to go ahead and split the box and it'll be seven points for that serving. That's four ounces dry each. Then I'm going to cook up some vegetables to mix in with it. So I'm going to cut up a zucchini, some mushrooms, and I'm just going to cook those in a pan on the stove with some garlic. And then once that's cooked up and the pasta is done, I will combine it. I'm going to use just a little bit of olive oil with the pasta, then some grated Parmesan cheese, as well as some garlic Parmesan seasoning, salt and pepper. So the entire dish will come out to 11 points on WW and it'll be a pretty filling serving.
Okay, so dinner was delicious. That was one of my favorite seafood pastas that I've made. It turned out really good. And for 11 points, it was a really filling serving. But now I want dessert. I did have a honey crisp apple after I finished eating for zero points, but I already want something else. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a serving of these cinnamon crunch popcorners. These are so good. I swear they're kind of like buttery. They have such a good flavor to them. But for the serving of about 17 crisps, it's 130 calories, two grams of protein, four and a half grams of fat, and it's four points on WW. So I'm gonna have this, then I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit. I actually might take a bath and then lay down for bed. I'm getting up early to go to the gym tomorrow and I feel like I ate a good amount of food today. I feel full and satisfied, so I think I'm done for the day. So wrapping up my day, I ended up using 32 dailies total. I used five points for breakfast, seven for lunch, 11 for dinner, and nine for snacks. And yeah, I had to use a few weeklies, but that's pretty much what I still average every day unless I go really above. I find that I average anywhere from like 28 to 35 in my day. Even when I have it set to get 25 dailies, I still use weeklies pretty much every single day just so that I'm full and satisfied. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you do, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it and I will see you next time.